In this video, we are going to show how to create a bootable Linux USB with a persistent storage. A bootable Linux USB drive contain a full operating system. You can boot it up, install programs, save files, and change settings. But, as soon as you reboot, all your changes are wiped away, and you're back to a fresh system. But if you want a system that picks up where you left off, you can create a live USB with persistent storage. When you create a USB drive with persistence, you'll allocate a space of the USB drive for a persistent overlay file. Any changes you make to the system for example, saving a file to your desktop, changing the settings in an application, or installing a program will be stored in the overlay file. Whenever you boot the USB drive on any computer, your files, settings, and installed programs will be there. So, let's get started. First we are going to download a free program called Rufus. Download Rufus and run it on your Windows PC. The tool will open immediately you don't even have to install it. Go to Ubuntu website and download the latest desktop version. Connect a USB drive with at least 2 GB of free space to your Windows PC. The contents of this drive will be erased, so back up any important files on the drive first. Click the device box in Rufus and ensure your connected drive is selected. Select your downloaded ISO file. Select the size of your persistent partition. Once you've selected the correct options, click the Start button to begin creating the bootable drive. Rufus may warn you that you need newer size Linux files. Just click the Yes button and Rufus will automatically download them for you. You'll be warned that all data on the USB drive will be erased. Click OK to continue if the drive has no important data on it. If you forgot to back up your data, click Cancel, back up the data on the USB drive, and then run Rufus again. Once you finished creating the USB drive, reboot your PC and boot from the new USB storage. Now let's do some tests. We are going to make some changes in our desktop and see if the those changes will be preserved after we reboot our Ubuntu session. As you can see, after rebooting Ubuntu, we still have our new desktop background and the folder we previously created.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you have any question.